If that doesn't make you want to watch the show, I don't I don't know what will. A lot of people are going to be really mad at me for suggesting this. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, as you guys saw my title, I'm gonna be doing a part two to my Netflix underrated shows I recommend. So first of all, let me address that I have been gone for quite a while. I just started school, as you guys know, and it's been really busy because I missed a lot of days because if you didn't know, I got COVID and I had to miss a whole week of school and that's what I'm trying to catch up on right now so I haven't really had much time to record. If I don't post for a long period of time, just know that I'm just really busy with school. With that out of the way, I can talk about the video we're gonna be doing today. It's gonna be super fun. So you guys really enjoyed the Netflix recommendations video that I posted a few months ago. It's one of my most popular videos on my channel, currently about like 1.4K, which I'm so thankful for. And I'm gonna be doing a part two for you guys. If you guys haven't watched the part one of the Netflix show recommendations I will link it up here if you guys want to go check it out and I'll also link in the description box down below let's just get started into the video so I have my phone here I'm basically just gonna be reading off like descriptions of the show I'm not that good at explaining so the first show that I recommend is called shadow and bone in a world where dark forces have taken over a young map maker Alina Starkov accidentally discovers that she has the power to change the fate of the war she is the only one who has the power to summon light and this will make her play a key role in this war. This show is literally amazing. It has one season and it's they're coming out with a second season which I'm super excited for. The genres of the show is action, adventure, drama, fantasy, and mystery. Alina, she has the power to like summon light. The fold is like this really dark place that is filled with monsters and it's really hard to pass through so she's the only one that can destroy the fold this show does have a book i have not read the book but i've heard that the book is really good too all the actors are so so good and also by the way this came out in 2021 so it's a recent new show the next show is amazing the next show is called manifest when Montego Air Flight 828 landed safely after a turbulent but routine flight, the crew and passengers were relieved. But in the span of those few hours, the world has had aged five years, and their friends, families, and colleagues, after mourning their loss, had given up hope and moved on. Now faced with the impossible, they're all given a second chance. But as their new re realities become clear, a deeper mystery unfolds, and some of the returned passengers soon realize they may be meant for something greater than they ever thought possible. If that doesn't make you want to watch the show, I don't I don't know what will. This show has three seasons and they're coming out with the fourth season. I am currently on season two and I am watching it with my mom, but season one was literally so amazing. There's always different stuff happening and it just keeps you on your toes all the time. The genres of this show is drama, mystery, sci-fi, and thriller. I don't want to do any spoilers, but a lot of things happen in this show. Uh, this isn't a new show. This I think this show like was made back in like 2018. The next show that I have to recommend is one of my babies as well. It is called Lost in Space. Set 30 years in the future, colonization in space is now a reality, and the Robinson family is among those tested and selected to make a new life for themselves in a better world. But when the new colonists find themselves abruptly torn off course and en route to their new home, they must forge new alliances and work together to survive in a dangerous alien environment, light years from their original destination. Stranded along with Robinsons are two outsiders who find themselves thrown together by circumstances and a mutual knack for deception. This show is based on the Robinsons, a family, um, basically that they're in space, they're on an alien planet, an alien comes. Every single family member in the Robinsons are just so crazy. Every single one of them do a whole bunch of just crazy stuff. This show gives you everything. It gives you action, it gives you drama, it gives you adventure, it gives you sci-fi and watch this show with my family as well and shows are just so much funner when you watch them with people the next show that i have to recommend is called the a-list the a-list is set in what appears to be an idyllic island summer camp but where dark secrets will turn the holiday of a lifetime into a twisted nightmare mia thinks she's all set for a summer of sun romance and social dominance but the late arrival of mysterious new girl amber disrupts everything amber walks into the camp like she owns it funny confident glamorous and effortlessly 
Charming. Mia instantly hates her. Slowly, Mia for Mia's former followers defect to Amber's side, and Mia starts to suspect that there's much more at stake than popularity con that popularity contest. There's something in Amber's eyes, something cold, something hungry. And when she lo locks her gaze to yours, you can feel it in your head, probing, cataloging, and absorbing. Amber is not a normal girl. She has powers. They are growing, and they are dangerous. The heightened tension and remote setting allow the A-list to explore universal teen concerns and of friendship, romance, loyalty, and betrayal in an intense crucible of powerful and addictive drama. The A-list has two seasons currently, and the second season just recently came out. I watched the first season a while ago, and it wasn't really, it wasn't that good. The second season was literally the season that blew me away, that made me like have this on my favorites list for shows. So the second season, a whole bunch of new actors just got introduced, and a lot changed in the second season. It kind of ended on like a cliffhanger, so I think there might be a third season, but I'm not sure. Uh, there's a lot of drama, but it's more on like the thriller side. If that makes any sense. The genres for the show is crime, drama, mystery, and thriller. So, very good. I recommend this. The next show I also watched with my family, okay? It is called Sweet Tooth. A boy who is half human and half deer survives in a post apocalyptic wo world with other hybrids. So, uh, this is a show that is has one season and it just recently came out on Netflix. The genres for this is action, adventure, drama, fantasy, and sci-fi. It is more of like a fantasy kind of show because there are like these kids who are half animal and half human. It sounds really weird, but it's really good. Honestly, I was super confused when I first saw the trailer for this. I was like, what is going on here? Like, I'm not really into fantasy, more of like fantasy shows, but this one was really good. I watched the first season a while ago, and I know they're coming out with the second season. The first season really ended up on a huge cliffhanger, and it was so, so annoying. The next show I recommend is called The Irregulars. Set in Victorian London, the series follows a gang of troubled street t teens who are manipulated into solving crimes for the sinister Dr. Watson and his mysterious business partner, the elusive Sherlock Holmes. So yes, this is a show that does include Sherlock Holmes in it and it has one season and a lot of people are going to be really mad at me for suggesting this because this show has been cancelled after the first season which is really sad if i knew that the show was was gonna be canceled then i probably wouldn't have watched it because i don't really like watching canceled shows because after the first season it's like you never get to see those characters again i'm actually not even done with the season so i don't know how it ends if it ends on a cliffhanger or just like everything fixes the genres for this is crime drama fantasy and mystery the next show is called get even it follows four teenage girls at private elite school who form their own secret society to expose bullies. I watched this a while ago, so I don't really remember much about this show. I remember that it ended kind of like everything fixed and stuff, so I don't think they're coming out with any other seasons. The genres for this is crime, drama, and thriller. I don't really see how this is crime or even thriller. It was kind of just drama, lots and lots of drama. So if you like drama, then watch this. The last show that I have to recommend for you guys is called Lock and Key. After their father is murdered under mysterious circumstances, the three Lock siblings and their mother move into an ancestral home, Key House, which they discover is full of magical keys that may be connected to their father's death. As the locked children explore the different keys and their unique powers, a mysterious demon awakes and will stop at nothing to steal them. Lock and Key is a coming of age mystery about love, loss, and the unshakable bonds that define family. This is another one of those family shows. This family moves into a new house, really mysterious, had a lot of like stories, backstories about like people going crazy in there and going missing. And like, it's one of those houses, you know, one of, the, one of like those houses. Okay, there's one season to this and the second season is literally coming out in like a week or two, which is kind of exciting. I haven't finished season one yet. I'm very close to finishing it. To me, it's like a really slow show. Like it goes very slowly. But after like I was halfway through, it was really good. The genres for this is drama, fantasy, horror, mystery, and thriller. 
that is all the shows that I recommend for you guys. All these shows I feel are underrated because I haven't heard of ever until I actually went on the Netflix app and just like started looking around. If you have watched some of these shows, go comment down below what you think about it. I would really love to talk to some people about these shows. And also comment down below if what are your favorite shows on Netflix, some shows that you suggest to me to watch because I would love to hear some new suggestions from you guys. So thank you guys so much for 1k on the first Netflix video that I did. I'm so thankful for every single one of you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. My posting schedule might be a little wonky. But I will try. Go watch those shows right now. Grab your popcorn. Go enjoy them. I hope you guys do enjoy them. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.